Hi, it's Obalim again. Welcome to the third series of our The Mystify series, where we try to explain in detail, or rather, where we try to demystify certain project management terms. Today, we're going to be talking about two very important concepts in project management that a lot of people find, well, a bit tricky and difficult to explain. So we shall be talking about the difference between configuration management and then change management. So first, we talk about configuration management. Think about this. Let's assume you have a car, and in the course of driving your car one day, you had a punctured tire. And you decided to change your tire. For example, you decide to bring in the spare tire. And then, of course, you went to the boot or the trunk of your car, brought out the spare tire, and then tried to fix it, only for you to discover that the spare tire doesn't fit. Or, better still, you bought a new phone, and you're trying to assemble the phone, and to discover that, at the end of the day, some of the parts within that particular phone do not fit. Now, of course, that's a vivid example of problem or issues with configuration management. In fact, some persons are of the opinion that part of the reason why the Germans lost the war, that's the Second World War, is because they had issues with configuration management. In other words, they had a situation where some of their equipment broke down, for example, their tank, and then, of course, they ordered for replacement of parts. And when some of those parts arrived, they discovered that the parts couldn't fit within the tank anymore. That's an issue with configuration management. So essentially, configuration management has to do with identifying what we refer to as configuration items. Configuration items, we now talk about the products or outcomes that you produce in the course of the project implementation. And this set of items will need to have certain specification, specific set of design, so that they can be used at cross-board and then also can be used for whatever purpose. What that means is, at any point in time when there is need for a change to any of these items, or any of these products, as the case may be, it has to go through a specific configuration process. In other words, it has to be managed in such a way that the changes that will be made to those specific set of items cut across board. Now, this is the only way you can ensure that the change to this specific set of products will, of course, meet specific set of specifications that will align with other products as it were. Okay, so that's for configuration management. Now, we talk about change management. Change management now talks about how you manage changes in your project. Now, what that simply means is that in the course of your project implementation, there will definitely be what we refer to as project work or specific set of processes or activities you will perform in the course of doing your project. Now, to make sure that this set of activities remain in line with the original plan, for example, your baselines, your costs, your schedule, and then of course your scope, you need a way of tracking any change that could be made to any of those work or any of these processes in order to ensure that at every point in time, the changes that are made are formally approved and then cut across board and then of course every member of the team gets to know or rather specific stakeholders who should be aware get to know about such changes. In a nutshell, configuration management deals with changes to products while change management deals with changes to process or processes that you will adopt in the course of your project implementation. So, while we talk about configuration management, to also ensure that we have the same version of configuration items throughout our project implementation, change management ensures that any change that we are going to be carrying out in the course of our project goes through what we refer to as approved change control procedures. So, I hope I've been able to to a large extent explain the difference between these two concepts, that is configuration management and then chain management. I hope this video has been enlightening for you. If you like the video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. 
You can also follow us on Twitter and then of course you can also like our Facebook page. Please drop me a comment on any other topic you might want me to speak about the next time. And of course don't forget, please share this video with your friends. Until I see you again next time, I still remain a Thank you very much for watching.